class and it deals with race. So I'm gonna read it. Race is the main side. You take one look at me and see what you see. And none of you know how hard it is to look like me. I'm not obnoxiously loud and ignorant or full of attitude. So you say I'm not black. It's kind of rude. You stereotype me because I'm black. Well, fine, I'm half white. Does that make me alright? I have both sides telling me I act like the other, but neither side will accept my color. I'm a cup of coffee with too much cream, a pale creature overcast by the sun's blowing beam, two boxes checked on the other table, the milk chocolate in your snicker bar, the white skinned girl with the worn out single snowflake mother, and a dirt ass and shackle father, not done with dirt bar. My color is supposed to be uplifted with acceptance, rubbing it in my face, making me feel less than the slaves back in the I was not enough percentage to be in their group. A hundred percent, I was told. Me, half. Fifty percent equals not enough. Diversity part? Man, even this is love. Last I heard, black and white were just colors written on sides of crayons. You feel the need to open your mouth, and there your mixed up judgment stands. You say I'm black, but I'm so white. So that would make me sound too great, right? You don't get it. You can't understand that the color you say is not who I am. I'm trapped behind the color of my skin, and it's all because you see my cover and title my pages within. I'm constantly told I'm not enough to fit in here, not accepted over there. I'm half of two races that didn't get along, and that's not fair. Your people trying to stop racism within the community? Tell, you, tell me how you tell the battle inside.